Shot clock down to eight for the Cardinals. Dwayne Sutton will try an NBA three and gets Louisville off to the early lead. Acceleration by Quan four. And that's dealt with a lot of negativity and scandal the last few years. That preseason ranking, well, it continues to motivate them. Six. Shot clock at four. He gets a high screen, has to force up a deep three, and connects. Kristen Cunningham stretches the Louisville lead. Juan Four pulls up. He's got it. Tell you what, these two guards really look like they're into this game. See, right now they're going to get more ball, ball movement and player movement. Florida to State, too much standing around. Kevin Gelly with the left hand. He's a big time player. What a prospect. It's a lot of impact young kids who are 17, 18. There's a difference. Cunningham. Yes. I'll tell you one thing. Lucas bench is very jubilant. Look at him dancing with joy. One thing he's going to have to learn is how to move it out the ball because teams are going to start suffocating, get in his face, and not let him get the ball. Terrence Mann forces the issue, and it pays off. He's got an and one opportunity. Here, here he is going to attack off the bounce, goes up strong in the lane, and gets the conversion. Got to understand what is a good shot. That's a tough time for young kids. Raekwon Gray hits a triple and ties the game. Loose ball, and it's tracked down by Mann. Here comes Forrest. Cabin Gelly, the trailer. Got it. Boy, he, he's big time. He's a big time prospect. Shot clock down to seven again. A wing jumper for Kristen Cunningham has been for Chris Mack as he has not only become a number one assist guy in ACC competition, but Cabin Gelly, the leading scorer off the bench. For Florida State. Game here this afternoon coming off that bench, but he's been doing that all year. He's going to be right in the running for best six man in the ACC. Forrest sets up Gray. Just was under recruited, would not have ended up at Louisville if not for your recommendation. Well, he's got ability, and certainly Rick Patino saw that ability. That guy's got ability. They're playing without a great player, Justin Robinson. This is an 18 3 run. That Cunningham tries to put an end to and does with another three. An advantage of them switching on the ball screens and want to make sure they're driving, especially on Raekwon Ferry, like we're seeing here. Well, it's a great call. They just did. Got the ball screen switch as Kristen Cunningham keeping the Cardinals in this game, and he taps it to himself. Off to the races with four. Lobs it, and four is able to finish. Terrific look right there by Cunningham. Out on the wing to Cunningham. Oh, the two point guards, great chemistry. Enoch, offensive rebound, and he tries again and succeeds. Led 12-3 to start the game, and this is a 9-0 run for Louisville, but a lazy pass by Cunningham, picked off by Forrest. That's a big time athletic move right there. Live turnover. Juan four with a floater, short. Offensive rebound, Enoch puts it up and in, plus the foul. They're going to set some screens and get some looks for Ryan McMahon. Wara to the rim! That's a big time play. Great execution. Justin Cunningham goes to work. Shot clock at five. Of course, the switch right there. Gives it up to Sutton. And Dwayne Sutton knocks one down. You know, Cunningham really understands where to get the ball. Last season as a freshman as well. So you didn't return a starter that averaged more than six points a game as far as lays one in. Any kind of tempo that they would like. See, that's what we want. The live ball turnover. That Trent is what they Forrest want. Lays it in. That is their game. They force you. Turn over. You can't handle that pressure. Here in the second half. Foul line could be big. And remember this. Florida State shoots really well on that foul line. Tough shot for Walker. Off balance. And he hits a long two. Here comes Wara the other way. Weaving his way through traffic. Off balance. And finishes. They call that the Euro step right there. Terrence Mann gives it up. Shot clock down to 10. J. Walker Screen, pulls up for three. That's good. We are tied up. I don't think I want to be dealing with these guys. Sutton the trailer. Yes, the answer from Dwayne Sutton, who's been in double figures three games in a row. Tapped right. right back to him. Gives it up to Wara for three. The putback by Enoch. There's Enoch working the offensive glass. That's what Louisville does really well. It's an air ball and a chance for a run out for Louisville. 
Wayne Sutton. The trailer is McMahon. He hits a three. You gotta give him shots. You gotta give him shots. You're going to be making a $200,000 donation as part of your gala to fight osteosarcoma in the name of Tyler Trent, who became the inspirational figure at Purdue. Yeah, he really, Tyler. Up until this last sequence where he's hit back-to-back -back triples. It's only two shots he's taken. And now they're trying to free him up for another. And he's got another. Why not? Why not? Why not get him free? That Forrest can't convert. Well, Ryan McMahon did a great job getting in front of him after turning the ball over. Cunningham. Blocked by Kevin Gelly. They win on Big Monday at number 11 Virginia Tech. Now they're on the road against a ranked Florida State team. Then they go home to play Duke. Man from the corner. Sized it up he and did. knocked it down. Wide open. Nobody rotated out on him. Man out there who's got all the Cincinnati Reds games. Nichols. Jump stop. Yes. Nice move. Right down the lane again. They get a stop. They're going to a little pressure. Double up on the ball. Sutton goes to the goal, rolls one home. His strength made that happen. That's only the fourth game that anyone else collectively on the team has fouled oh, out of. Man got nailed. And Wara goes to the rim and ends up having it knocked out of bounds. This guy, you want the ball in his hands, cutting him. He finds great people at the right time. Back nice door man. cut what to Wara. He finds the right people at the right time. 2.8 to 1. Oh, that's beautiful basketball. Terrific. That's beautiful basketball. Has beaten on the road this season North Carolina and Virginia Tech when both teams are ranked in the top 12. As Walker, an easy trip to the goal there. That was so simple. Nobody even challenged him. Showing some patience here. I know Leonard constantly talks about spacing. Man hits a three. That One point game. Little handoff. Kristen Cunningham, five to shoot. Back outside, Malik Williams. Answers for Louisville. That's a big answer right there by the big guy. Spreading the court, trying to open up the lane. Walker, floater, no good. Now oh, the follow is on time for Kevin Gelly. And we've got a two-point game. Kevin Gelly right up on the offensive board. Great job getting on the offensive glass. Oh, a turnover. Oh, we turnover. are tied. Wow. MJ Walker with the steal. Great. Trying to put Louisville back on top. He was number 10 in America. Now pressure free throws on the road for Louisville. And he's got them both. Kristen Cunningham, another terrific Watch. performance. Louisville dig it in defensively. They like to go one-on-one -on -one in the lane. Trent Forrest ties the game. Nice play. He took the one-on-one, -on -one, got in the lane, and got the conversion. And Sutton a long way from the basket with five to shoot. Gives it up to Wara for three. Off the heel. Kofer's got it. Three seconds to go. Kofer for the win. Just oh, off the rim. Oh. And we are going to overtime. Uh, Man, backing down Cunningham. Gives it up. It oh, rolls off the oh. rim, but the tip follow there for Trent Forrest. What a tip. What a tremendous tip that was. 8 nothing Florida State in overtime. They need a three. Perry the to the corner. Wide open. Sutton. There's a big shot from Louisville as Dwayne Sutton hits the three. Trent Forrest pulls up. That won't go. Kevin Gelly an offensive rebound. That'll go. That'll go. Beat Louisville on the offensive boards. Kevin Gelly with a monster play. Big time prospect. Big time player getting better and better and better. Malik Williams desperately needed three for Louisville, and he knocks it down, and it's a four point game. Cunningham will drive it. Tough shot, plus the foul. What a finish by Kristen Cunningham. Incredible play. Play, watch this drive now. So he switches it to the left hand, protects the ball. If he goes to the right hand, the ball is blocked. With four seconds to go, Kevin Gelly breaks up the home run pass. And the Knowles come from 10 points down in the second half to force overtime. And they beat Louisville 880 to 75.